Good morning, Pisces. This is your reading and it's Friday morning. We almost made it to the weekend. Isn't that exciting? I'm so excited about the weekend. Okay, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what we have for you guys. Um, if this these are your messages, well, I would say that's great, but we don't know what the story is yet. <laughs> if it isn't, check the other titles. Just give the other titles a spin, you know? If the, this is for Pisces, uh, if you feel like being one, if you're not one, but you want to be one today, I don't mind. I really don't mind. I'll take you all. Okay, Pisces, what is the collective energy for you guys? What is the collective energy? I'm having a hard time. I was shuffling these for a while before hitting record, and man, oh man, that emperor just keeps coming out. But what do... I had a look. Two of Wands reversed. I had a look. I cannot look. Okay, Pisces, what is going on? What is going on? I know you guys are like, oh my gosh, this 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 girl can't shuffle for anything. But these are really big. Okay. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Pisces. What needs to come out? What is the general energy for the Pisceans? What is it? What is it? What is it? Ooh, Queen of Wands, Aries energy. Look at that. That is a lot of confidence. That is a lot of excitement on that card. What's influencing this Queen of Wands? What's influencing it? What is it? What is it? What are you doing, Pisces? Ooh, there you are, Ten of Cups. It feels just in these two cards, it's like a newer relationship. Either you're in a new relationship or you're, you're in an existing relationship that's doing really, really well. But you know when you're just emotionally really balanced and happy, you just, it's just like everything kind of falls in together. I think you're looking good. You're feeling good. Life is pretty good for the Pisces. What is the reason for the reading? Why are we all here today, fishies? Why is it? What is it? Ten of Pentacles. Pisces, what are you doing? Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. You have a lot of happiness and you are... The first thing I actually thought with this Queen of Wands too is home life is great. But you are trying to create something or you are creating something that is going to bring a lot of long-term wealth, growth. And I feel like this is you're doing this with for your family. Yeah, I, I so far I'm not reading for a Pisces like who's got a broken home going on here. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. What's in the past, Pisces? What happened in the past? What happened in the past? The four of swords reverse. This is this feels like anxiety. Anxiety. I'm feeling around money, to be honest. I'm not feeling around love. I'm feeling around money. What is on your mind? What's on Pisces' mind? What's on Pisces' mind? The ten of wands. We have three tens now. This is laying down the burdens of whatever stressed you out. I, You know, we did come out of a pandemic year. A lot of people, it, they took a financial hit. And that's what I'm feeling here. But now, it's like it's starting to, everything's clicking. I feel like this, this feels like a new project, a new business. Maybe you got promoted in your job or you're taking a job, a newer job. Maybe you got a job. But, but I feel like you're just finally, like you could breathe again. You know, you don't feel so underwater. What is in the near future? What is in the near future for Pisces? What's in the near future? What's coming up? The Nine of Pentacles. Pisces, what are you doing? This is a lot of money. This is a lot of money. And this is a lot of happiness. This is just a lot of wish fulfillment on this board. What? How do you see yourself right now? How do the Pisceans see themselves? How do the Pisceans see themselves? The Five of Cups reversed. I, I see that in this deck, it reminds me of the Eight of Cups, walking away from something that you still care about. But this is, uh, I'm not feeling a regret. I feel like something happened in this past that was a Four Swords reverse, and you probably were a Five of Cups. Remember I said you felt like you were emotionally underwater? It, it was hard. It was heavy. And I feel like some days you didn't know how, if this was money, you didn't know how you were going to do it, how you could pay the bills. You, I feel like the, I might be reading for a Pisces that even has kids and you're worried about giving them the life they deserve. And, but it just feels really good. You see yourself like, what I'm getting with that card is I overcame it. 
I overcame it. That's beautiful. With his Ten of Pentacles, and it feels like he's reflecting on where he's been, right? And it, it is a family there. And Pisces is thinking long term. This is a Pisces who really cares about their family, really cares about their kids, spouse. Even if you're a Pisces that's not married, this Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles is all about your family. Whatever you're doing, this is all for your family. And the money is just now starting to enter. It feels like it's it's getting better. Okay, what is the energy coming in to influence this? What's the energy coming in to influence this? What is it? The Two of Swords reverse. Yeah, the Two of Swords right here is kind of like in between. It's the in between and reflection. And now the energy coming in is there's no, I just feel like it's go time. That's the first thing that came to mind. It's go time. Energy coming in is just, I. this seems like a new a business, something with work that's doing really well. What is the, what's in your emotions right now? What's in your emotions? What's in Pisces emotions? The fool reverse, a little fear. So if this was a business, let's just say it's a business idea. If this is a business idea, maybe you tried a business idea in the past. You tried a business, not an idea. You tried a business in the past that failed. You had a business that went under. You you had a job that you lost because I feel this could be tied around the pandemic. But the full reverse is just fear around taking this new chance, right? And see on this card, it, it's it's just going into the unknown willingly. You're go, you need to go into the unknown knowing you could fall, but you could also, I mean, some amazing things can happen, but you won't know if you don't take that chance. This almost feels like if you take this chance, then this happens. And you're just a little nervous about putting yourself out there again. And But with this Two of Swords reverse coming in, you will make this decision. You will make this decision to go. I have no doubt about that. It's just a pause. It's like a momentary reflection of where you've been and what you've lost. And I feel like you just are now coming up for air where you can breathe again. You're feeling good. You're feeling like you got your confidence back. It's just, it was, I feel it was a really tough year for um, whoever I'm reading for, but it's now, it's looking good. What's the outcome for Pisces? What's the outcome? What is the outcome here? What is the outcome? I just did Aquarius, they had the same outcome, Six of Cups. In fact, you are all over that reading. Very similar reading. Six of Cups. Ironically, yeah, here how you see yourself is reflecting on what was lost. Here you're reflecting, it's very family. It's very happy memories, building. I wanna say building happy memories. And I feel like some of you, look at that bottom of the deck, Two of Cups and Nine of Wands and the Queen King of Swords and the Chariot. Oh my God, Pisces, what are you doing? This is victory. This, this the chariot is victory, but you, the chariot is also going into the unknown, right? You have to, you have to do it. I think you know you have to do it. The king of swords is very clear in what they want, and the nine of wands is your fearless warrior. They have like she's been really damaged. I mean, she's got the scars that she wears proudly, but she's not given up. And why aren't you giving up? It's because this two of cups. One, it's this is something you need to do for you. This is your this is your path. This is your sole purpose. But this is something that's going to bring a lot of happiness for your loved ones, which is really I feel like what drives you. Okay, let's clarify with the golden tarot. What is this Queen of Wands and Ten of Cups? And I do feel like you have a great support system. If if you are married, your spouse has just really been through the tough times with you and pulled you through. And you pulled each other through. But what is this Queen of Wands and Ten of Cups for Pisces? What is this Queen of Wands and Ten of Cups about? What is this about? Queen of Wands and Ten of Cups for Pisces. What is the Queen of Wands and Ten of Cups? The Knight of Wands. That's passion. That's go. Remember I said go time. Then, yeah, the Queen of Wands, 
she's just not afraid to put herself out there because she knows whatever she she needs to bring forth and create it's going to be successful she just has that kind of confidence that kind of and she's very charismatic and and people just love to be around her the knight of wands is somebody who needs to do this this is not a person who who is happy sitting around and letting people do stuff for them they have to go out and explore and find the answers themselves and it's it's this passion to do this and yeah, I feel like this is really around um, work, money, something like that. But I do feel like this is this is very destiny. This is very this is a sole purpose. Whatever you're going to create has got such long term effects. This is not just that happiness for you and yours. This is like something your grandchildren will, will inherit. You know, if it's a business. What is so? I put that Knight of Wands back, didn't I? Guys, just remember it was there. I'm going to clarify the Ten of Pentacles now. I can't believe I put that back in. Maybe it, I, it was meant to be put back in. It's going to come out again. What is this Ten of Pentacles? The reason for the reading. What is the Ten of Pentacles? The Seven of Pentacles. This long-term investment. This long-term investment and the patience of it, of, of creating this, is going to... I mean, you're going to look back and be so glad you took this chance with the Ten of Pentacles. This is this is a lot of money. I don't know what you're doing, Pisces. I really don't. This is you're growing. You're just growing something that is going to be passed down from generation to generation. This is just a lot of happiness. This is a lot of money. This is a lot of stability. A lot of stability. And a, it's just it's the patience to to. This is not something that's going to happen overnight. But I. Nothing here says that you expect it to happen overnight. And I feel like this has already been an ongoing thing. Or maybe for who I'm reading for, this could be an idea. And with this full reverse, it all hinges on you taking this chance. Having faith in yourself. What is this four of swords in the past? Four of swords reversed. What's this four of swords reversed in the past? That just feels like a lot of anxiety. What's a four of swords reversed in the past? Yeah, three of swords reversed. Or is it upright? No, it's reversed. Anxiety, hurt, pain. If I, it feels like it was like never ending. If it, maybe you had the money problems, maybe you lost your job, maybe you had a business that you were about to lose, and there that creates you know problems in the home life. Why wouldn't it not? Because money can really affect the home life. Everybody knows that, and it just feels like this never ending one problem after another that caused a lot of anxiety. What is this ten of wands reversed on your mind? I like that you're dropping the burdens. What's this Ten of Wands reversed on Pisces' mind? What is that? Yeah, Nine of Wands. There he is again, the fearful warrior Pisces. You are not a you. You don't give up. You are not about giving up. You have taken hits. Some days you don't even know how you were going to get up, but you got up and you kept going. And you are going to. If you aren't there yet, Pisces, you are going to look back in your life and say, "Thank God I took a chance on myself," because look what it produced. Thank God I didn't give up. When times were tough, I didn't give up. What is this Nine of Pentacles in the near future? What's this Nine of Pentacles in the near future for Pisces? Yeah, ooh. I'm talking about giving up. I feel like, you know what I feel like? What It's exactly what I just said. She looks like she's reflecting. Even though she's looking at her bird, it's almost like she's reflecting on. This feels, again, even though it's near future, which could be week, two weeks, a few months, it feels more distant than that. I feel, I mean, the Nine of Pentacles is a lot of solid. It's just a lot of, um, what do you call that? It's just a strong foundation. You have everything you need. It's just no more struggles. And she's looking back thinking, thank God I didn't, you know, I didn't give up. You didn't let this go. You refused to let something die. You refused to let it, you, you refused to let it get the best of you. What's this Five of Cups reverse, how you see yourself? What is this Five of Cups reverse, how you see yourself? And the justice, yeah. It's, you, it's, I keep repeating myself in this. This is just a strong storyline. You refuse to let it go. You refuse to give it up. This, and some of it is contracts, but I do feel like there's a lot of, this this was a big event in your life 
this was a, a, a big learning event and you've overcome it. And because you overcome it, I feel like there was such good karma that that is rewarded to you. This was a lesson you had, not even a lesson, this was a test. This was a test you had to go through. How much you want this? Well, how strong are you? You know, and it really tested your strength, your wherewithal, your ability to stay on path and your ability to s stick with, you know, what you know. And you, I feel like you, you were really were tested. I mean, financially, it was probably, I feel like there was probably upheaval in your home life because of the financial, but you stuck with it. No matter what, you didn't give up. You stuck with what's true. You stuck with what you, I feel like contracts, you would not let it go. Even the marriage is, is, is it, it was probably really tough, but you wouldn't, you just, you hung in there. Really strong, reading for a really strong person here. What's this Two of Swords reversed? The energy coming into influences. What's this Two of Swords reversed? Yeah, temperance, making a decision. This is a lot, this is healing, balance. By making a decision, if this is something new, like of a new business idea, by making this decision, it's, it, this is where your balance is. A lot of healing. And I do feel like you are very protected. And I don't care what religion you are watching this, it doesn't even matter. You are protected by higher, like a higher power around you. By good energy, you are protected from really falling, but I do feel like you were tested. And that was the point of this. The, it, it was, but and you won, you, you succeeded beyond all expectations of this by hanging in there and not giving up. But by coming out of that two of swords reverse of this, you know, I don't know, I just feel like a lot of momentum, like that Knight of Wands and the Queen of Wands. It was a lot of momentum to, to push through and make this happen. What is this full reverse in Pisces emotions? What's the full reverse in your emotions? What's the full reverse in Pisces emotions? What is that card? Three of Wands reverse. And the three of wands upright is waiting for your ships to come in. That's the basic meaning of the card. And I never really agree with this card because it's a fire sign and fire signs don't wait. They have to move. They have to, you know, he, this guy's like waiting for someone to come save him. He's waiting. He picked a path. Now he's waiting for someone to help him. It just goes against what a fire sign is. Um, and then, yeah, with it reversed, I feel like you could not wait. You, you couldn't wait for someone to save you. Nobody was coming to save you but yourself. I'm telling you, I'm reading for a super strong person. Bottom of the deck, what happened? Eight of Cups, Five of Swords. You, you, this, this reminds me of the hermit on his way to becoming a hermit. Hermits are full of wisdom. They, and they are full of wisdom because they had a lot of, lot of trials and tribulations they overcame. And then they go within and they learn and they, they do a lot of analyzation and then, Eventually, the hermit, when he's reversed, he comes out from this cave and shares that knowledge with other people. And yeah, I feel like you had a lot of fights. You had a lot of challenges. And you had to walk away from things that you didn't want to walk away from. And I'm not saying people, but I'm just saying it, it, it was, or you were tested that you had to walk away, but you just, you really overcame these challenges. What is the Six of Cups and the outcome? What's the Six of Cups and the outcome for Pisces? What is the Six of Cups and the outcome here? And the Knight of Wands there. The Knight of Wands reversed. You, isn't that funny? I said that card he probably wants to come back out, but now he's reversed. I do feel like that's reflection. Six of Cups are memories of the past. It's good memories. It's This is, feels like a very destined or a very um, expansive reading. This doesn't feel like a week or a month or even a year. This feels like over a course of somebody's life. And the Six of Cups and the outcome is looking back. I feel like this Ten of Pentacles is an old man looking back. There's a lot of reflection. Even this is looking back and saying, thank God I didn't give up on myself. But with the Six of Cups and the Knight of Wands reversed, there were many times that you felt like you couldn't push, you couldn't go forward. But that, but the, the Knight of Wands, how I look at this card is, if he's upright, he's full of energy. He's full of momentum. There's something he needs to do. There's something he needs to prove. There's something he needs to create and find. But when he's reversed, the momentum is still there, but he's not moving forward because of whatever happened. 
you know you can't move forward if you know if, if devastation I feel like a big tower happened and things were falling around you but the momentum never left you the fire within you never left the desire to complete this or to create this or to or or to provide this for your family never left you and that's what why it's a good memory even though it's a knight of wands reverse she's looking back it's a six of cups upright it's a memory of god i went through some shit, but i didn't it didn't get the best of me what it give me another card on that six of cups give me another card on that six of cups what is that yeah, the Queen of Wands reverse. It's just, Knight of, it's so weird because when I clarified the Queen of Wands, I got the, the Knight of Wands upright. Clarifying the outcome, I've got the Queen of Wands reverse and the Knight of Wands reverse. It's somebody, when things happen, you know, everybody goes through trials and tribulations, but sometimes they can't overcome them. Some people get really stuck in that hurt to the point where it, it, they, they hide from themselves. They hide from life. They don't put themselves out there. It's just, it, it really cripples them. That's the queen of wands reverse. It, that's when something bad has really crippled her. She's got no confidence. She's now an introvert where the queen of wands upright is extroverted. And she's boom. She's, you know, she's taken the world by the bull by the horns. That's the expression. But the queen of wands reverse is like, oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I can't do this. No, no, that's not for me. I, I don't have the energy or the power to do it. And same thing with the Knight of Wands reverse. It's it's the momentum is still there. Long story short, I think the reflection of us looking back like that easily could have been your life. That easily could have happened to you. That's how big whatever this was, because I feel like this was devastation on many fronts and it, it feels around money, but you just didn't let it break you. What is the Six of Cups in the outcome? What is it? And the Ace of Pentacles reverse. It's funny. Queen of Wands reverse. Ace of Pentacles reverse. Knight of Wands reverse. I think it's just reflecting. That's just reflecting on what was lost. On the pain and the Four of Swords. I like that because this is... When that happened, you had to go within. Remember in the past, we have the Four of Swords reverse and the Three of Swords reverse. This is a lot of anxiety and a lot of pain. But from here, even though this is the outcome, what caused all of this good things to happen is you did go within. You did take a moment. You said, okay, this happened. This is a bunch of bullshit, but this happened. And how do I recover? You you didn't become the queen of wands reverse and go hide and lay in bed and pull the covers over your head and be like, I'm, I'm just done with life. I can't do this anymore. No, you got up. The knight of wands. We had the knight of wands twice. You got, you, you got up and you fought another day. You fought another day, Pisces. Yes, you did. Now look at the king of wands. Look at that. It's, it's, I feel very mastery with that bottom of the deck. We have the queen of swords. It's just a lot of mastery. It's a, it's just, this is not a person who can be taken down by any kind of situation. They fight their survival and they're warriors. It's a warrior, you know? All right, Pisces. That is what I have for you guys this week. I hope you guys have a lovely weekend and I'll see you next week, guys. Take care.